In July of 2012, BioCrop Science opened its newest research and development facility in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. We call it Greenhouse 5. The bioscience business of BioCrop Science is dedicated to bringing best-in-class seeds and trade solutions to farmers for improved yields, tolerance to stresses, and enhanced crop quality. We are very excited to begin operations in our new greenhouse and significantly expand our capacity to deliver important new plant traits that will improve the productivity of farmers in the United States and around the world. Through greenhouse number five, we are truly propelling farming's future. Now, step inside and see for yourself. In July 2012, Bear Crop Science opened a new greenhouse facility for research and development in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. This state-of-the-art greenhouse totals more than 60,000 square feet, including office and lab space, growth chambers, seed storage, and mechanical facilities. The third floor is dedicated greenhouse space of over 30,000 square feet, with 24,000 square feet of growing space. This greenhouse uses the same floor footprint as the Bear Greenhouse in Ghent, Belgium, but is adapted to North Carolina weather conditions. Greenhouse 5 is designed to withstand hurricane force winds up to 105 miles per hour and is air conditioned to accommodate the hot, humid North Carolina summers. This is the first greenhouse at its size with air conditioning in this area. This greenhouse is designed to be a state-of-the-art plant phenotyping facility capable of sophisticated phenotypic trait evaluation. It also provides excellent growth conditions for seed production. Our current crop focuses are soybean and corn and trait emphasis are herbicide tolerance, insect resistance, and nematode control. Regulatory science grows various plants under GLP conditions. The head house is spacious with automated soil handling and pot filling. It is air conditioned. Waste management is handled by either autoclave or steam dumpster. There are seven walk-in growth chambers for soybean, one for corn, and one for regulatory science. There are also three future expansion spots, one for soybean research and development, one for corn research and development, and one for regulatory science. These chambers have precise temperature control and light intensity. The corn chamber has a raised roof to accommodate the height of tall corn plants. Being able to grow corn to full maturity in a growth chamber is very unique. All growth chambers have a mix of two different lights to provide a good spectrum for plant growth and development. It has a combination of high pressure sodium and high intensity mercury metal halide. To make the greenhouse really green, 84% of construction debris was recycled and the facility has a water capture and recycling system. Rainwater from the roof and condensation of the air handling system is collected, filtered, and UV light treated. Then it's available for irrigation. The 70,000 gallon underground water storage tanks are expected to reduce consumption of potable water by approximately 700,000 gallons annually. The stormwater basin will suspend solids from rainwater runoff from the parking lot and other areas to improve water quality in nearby ponds and lakes. There are 21 air handlers, one for each growth room. There are four others for the first floor head house, two for the second floor workspaces, and one for the office area. Temperature control is provided by chilled or heated water. All motors and HVAC systems are energy efficient. Airflow systems affect temperature uniformity and flexibility in the greenhouse. To accommodate different needs, different airflow systems are used. The underbench flow system provides the most uniform temperature in the greenhouse and is optimal for evaluating complex traits such as stress tolerance and yield. The overhead duct sock system provides maximum flexibility for bench arrangement. This system enables the high plant density and allows corn to grow directly on floor or very low bench. It makes it easier to access the top of the corn plants. This greenhouse is constructed in such a way that these two airflow systems can be switched when needed. There are three types of benches, ebb and flow, bench master adjustable height, and rolling benches with mesh tops. Both soybeans and corn require a lot of light. To maximize light penetration into the greenhouse, all roof and outside facing walls are equipped with low iron glass, also called invisible glass. 
The type of glass also allows a portion of UV light to get into the greenhouse, making the conditions more similar to a field. These low iron glasses are patterned so that the light coming in is diffused to minimize shadows and provide an excellent uniform light environment. The diffused light can penetrate better into the lower canopy, enhancing plant health and productivity. The anti-reflective coating is applied to the outfacing side of the glasses to further boost light intensity in the greenhouse. Light is supplemented on cloudy days, early morning and evening by artificial lights. There are 754 1000 watt lights in this greenhouse. They provide up to 500 micromoles of light down to 18 inches off the floor. Most other greenhouses provide up to 350 micromoles of light. There are three rooms equipped with blackout curtains on the top and sides to allow for precise control of day length. Most of the space in this greenhouse will be used to grow soybean in the next few years. Two large rooms in this greenhouse are reserved for installation of high throughput. State-of-the-art plant phenotyping platform allows us to evaluate more complex traits and to automate plant screens for greater accuracy, throughput, and efficiency. The conditions we use to support vigorous plant growth can cause the carbon dioxide level in the greenhouse to drop significantly, limiting plant growth. It's equipped with a system that can compensate carbon dioxide in each room to atmospheric to boost plant yield. This concludes the tour of the new greenhouse in RTP. Bear Crop Science looks forward to leveraging this new state-of-the-art facility to cultivate ideas and answers to some of the toughest challenges facing growers today as we work together to propel farming's future.